MGF comes out to do the 10 lashes for Wardlow. This was the best fucking segment. <sighs> this is amazing. Holy yeah. shit. Wow. Like, the thing with MJF, and I, I, I've talked about this. You know, MJF's doing all the interviews in 2024, and there was the story out last week about, you know, every, anyway. Listen, everyone. It's like, ribbing on the square is not the right term here. But, uh, I mean, listen. Obviously, the guy who's going to want to make, he's going to weigh everything, and he's going to go to the place that is going to pay him the most and where he feels he will have the best opportunity. And I've never talked to him about this, but I mean, it's common sense. If WWE offers him $1 million and uh, Tony Khan offers him $1 million, and for all I know, he may stay with AEW because he's probably, arguably, I think it's safe to say he'll probably be used better and have, he'll, he will for sure have more freedom in AEW if all things are equal. If Vince offers him $5 million, which he's not going to, but let's just say, and Tony only offers him $2 million, then he's probably going to WWE. He wants to, make, he wants to make his worth what he's worth, okay? So with all that said, he's using this reality as a way to get so much fucking heat with this AEW crowd. I mean, he always gets a lot of heat. But uh, that story came out uh, four or five days ago. And man, this dude's music hit, and they just fucking were furious from the moment his music hit. Way more than usual, I thought. And then on top of that, he was just the fucking greatest heel you ever saw in this segment. And it helps because Wardlow's like the greatest babyface ever. And so it was just like a perfect storm. And man, when this thing was over, it was like, God, one way or the other, in 2024, this man will be a millionaire. Oh, yeah. So congratulations to him. Yeah. He has earned his money one way or the other. Yeah. So the gimmick is Wardlow's going to get 10 lashes. So, of course, he can't be wearing a shirt. But he also is going to be handcuffed. And they're certainly not going to unhandcuff him this time after what happened last week. So he's outside in the parking lot with no shirt on, handcuffed. He is led into the building. He just gets in there. And it was immediately clear this is not going to be the Cody Rhodes lashing rerun. Because... MGF takes that belt and whips him, and Wardlow just laughs. And MGF whips him again, and Wardlow laughs harder and looks down and flexes his own pecs and admires them. Now MGF is pissed. I counted five lashes in a row. Apparently he got all the way to eight. But he's, he's whipping him like crazy as hard as he can, as fast as he can. And well, Wardlow he did the first two, then he needed five more, so he was at seven. Yeah. That's where he was. Okay. So, anyway... Uh, Spears has to tackle him because he's wasting these lashes. They have no effect. Spears tackles MJF says, here, here, let me do one. MJF's beside himself screaming, I know you're hurt. I know this hurts. And Spears, there's three lashes left. And Spears goes to number eight and whips him as hard as he can. And Spears is a, a big dude, as we noted. And Wardlow still shrugs it off. Just laughs. MJF is beside himself. Spears is confused. So Spears really reels back, and he hits one lash as hard as he can. And it's like a she -e when he finally sells after 10 minutes. Warlow just slumps just a little bit. Like, okay, that one got me. And the crowd's like, oh, my God. <laughs> he, he does feel pain. Well, the, the, whole, the, the reason this was so unbelievably great is because the whole idea of whipping the baby face is so you feel bad for the baby face. Oh, this poor, like, Cody would, maybe Cody was, like, crying, and yes. he was just like, so that's that's what you would expect from this. But Wardlow, you know, as soon as he doesn't sell, as soon as he laughs and just stands there, I mean, this this crowd, it was they just loved it. it this Superman here, not selling these lashes. But when he sold that one, it's all he needed was one to show that it really fucking hurt. Yes. So now the fans thought he was Superman, but they also had sympathy for him. So, like, you could have had him sell everyone, or you could have had him sell none of them. But the way they did it where he didn't sell eight, and then he sells one, not overselling it, but just selling it enough that you're like, oh, this poor fucker got his fucking back. But then he he hulks up and he's like, oh, he, he goes, only one more. He's back to being Superman again. And so at that point, MGF punts him in the balls. My God, this crowd. They were so angry at this guy. He punts this dude in the balls. He starts whipping the shit out of this guy. And I was like, this is the greatest whipping segment in the history of wrestling. By miles. Miles. 
And the best build for anything on the pay-per-view by far. Actually, yes. Yes. So, this was, I mean, this was incredible. This was amazing. What I liked about it, they didn't... Uh, the Cody segment they did, which is the kind of nearest thing I can compare it to that felt very long and drawn out and this they didn't this didn't outstay its welcome it was fast it was quick it was a good segment and Warlow he's this huge dude but he has this really kind face so there's something about seeing him being whipped by this complete bastard that's just you just feel for this dude and you want him just to turn around and, and kick this guy's ass so he has this very very sweet kind face that you do relate to him even well actually like if i may if i may it's not it's not that it's a kind face he does have a kind face but what it is is he has you know you look at wardlow and the, the term you would think is he's got a million dollar body and he does have a great body but what he has is a million dollar face because he can look kind. He can also look very, very angry. He he can have that look when MGF is being an asshole of that look like, fuck this guy. And you just know what he's thinking without him having to say a word. Mm-hmm. He has such a great face. And it doesn't matter what his his what he needs to express with his face. He's able to do it. So that's the strength of Wardlow is is how great he is at emoting any emotion and kindness is in fact one of them agreed and he I mean they talk about wrestlers who are bound for Hollywood he is one of those that you look at and think yeah that that this too could go to Hollywood but something about MGF as well and I, I don't know if this was deliberate but he is a consummate worker was did you notice how orange his hands were I yes. was just gonna say bro every time someone makes fun of his spray tan like you need to do a better spray tan it it's gets like, worse. You marks, are you kidding me? <laughs> Jesus, of course it's a bad spray tan. That's the fucking point. I mean, the, he the, knows we're looking at his hands. He's whipping someone. He's work. He just works everything. And then putting the ring on for the punch. Yeah. Like he, yes. o- he only spray tanned his hands. There's orange. Is this whatever this pill bottle is here? Is that a camera? <laughs> yes. So that's that's MJF's hands yeah. right there. Yes. <laughs> so anyway, they whip. They 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 kick. More than the balls, whip him repeatedly, hit the diamond ring punch. Spears is a C4, and Max counts three because that's next. Is the cage match against Spears with MJF a special ref? So this is all very, very simple and absolutely perfect. Dave uh, last night said that uh, the only thing he would change is he would add Wardlow kick out, and I 1,000% disagree. Yeah. Here's, here's a, what I feel are the two options. Either you don't cover him at all or you pin him, okay? And uh, I know that, you know, he made the comment like, okay, you know, they're trying to make him Goldberg. And if this were Goldberg, would you have pinned him? And the answer is no. But at the end of the day, it's not Goldberg. And the stipulation for the match is uh, if Wardlow loses this match with MGF, he can never sign a contract with AEW. So they're telling you who is going to win, okay? So at least put in a smidgen of doubt by actually showing that Wardlow can, in fact, be pinned. It is possible that the man could be pinned. So I was okay with, with the cover and the pin. I would have been fine if they hadn't covered him at all, but uh, I feel that after this horrible beating, violence, low blow, hitting him with all these moves, covering him and him kicking out, it, I, I, it, it would have just made everything weird. Yeah. So we're taking all the suspense out of it. Yes, the, 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 it's got to be one or the other. You no cover or yeah. pin, and you can't just skip the cage match. That's an important part of the story. So now we have now we have drama for the cage match. If, if Wardlow had kicked out and beat them both up here, that would have taken the drama out of next week. So no offense, to anyone named Bert, but when no. you spell it with a U, it's much worse. Vinny, you got to go to NXT, and your name is Bert. Okay, <laughs> you can either spell it B E R T or B U R T. You're gonna look at both of those. You're gonna go E for sure. Yeah. Right, Craig? Craig knows. Yeah, because, like, it's, like, I drank so much, I burnt. You know? <laughs> what? First it was Narcissus. Okay. But then later it changed to The Narcissist. Yes. With a T. Yes. But that wasn't Narcissus. That was The Narcissist. The Narcissist. No! The Narcissist. Who cares? Bert. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Bert Narcissist. <laughs> Bert, like, Bert. Bert. I'm sorry. I need to recover from Bert Narcissist. He's such a narcissist, he kept the name Bert. <laughs> yeah. If you enjoy these videos, for just $7.99 per month, you can enjoy full-length editions 
of The Brian and Vinny Show, Wrestling Observer Live, Figure Four Daily with Tom Lawler and Lance Storm, the Mad Men podcast, Speak Now Pro Wrestling with Denise Salcedo and more, plus hundreds of archived shows, all in beautiful HD. Don't miss out. Join us today.